Hi, this is Matt from Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're looking at Thesis from Sugarbytes. It's currently on promotion, so let's take a look at it. So what is Thesis then? Thesis is a step sequencer that you insert as a instrument track, and then you can send it to any other instrument that you wish. It even allows you to send CC messages to external synths, like you can see down below here. So you can modulate all these parameters for your external hardware really quite easily. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I will stick to using plugins just so it's easier to follow along. Essentially, it is split into five sections. You have the first row at the top, which is to modulate the pitch. The second one to modulate the velocity. Third is the gate time. Then we have a performance section, which I'll get to in a second. And then below that, we have the CC modulation that I mentioned at the start. So obviously a lot of this you could do inside the door itself. So you're probably asking, why do I need Thesis? Why do I need an external plugin to do it? And the answer to that is basically twofold. It's a lot more fun to do it in Thesis, mainly as a result of the randomization functions that Sugarbytes really specialize in. And the second reason is the flexibility. So once you have a pattern that you like, you can then save it as a preset, and then you can use that in future projects. Plus also a third reason actually, is these performance options down the bottom here. So by selecting MIDI keys, you can change the pattern or you can change an action. So we have different action sections over here. So we can change the gate time. We can have a bit of a looper. We can retrig, a bit of a slowdown effect or even change the gate. And then to the right of that, we can then transpose. So let's play back just this random preset I've chosen from Serum as well as one of the preset patterns in Thesis. We have the following. If I meet the kick, and then the percussion, I can transpose. Well, let's play with one of the, one of the performance options, it's looper. like so, or we can select it by MIDI keyboard down here. So obviously that can be played in. Again, it can be played in by the keyboard. And then going back to the lanes at the top, to the far left, we choose the root note. So this is currently set to C2. Let's put this on C sharp two, like so. To the right of that, we have the scales. So let's choose Phrygian, which is here. And now if you move across to the right, I can randomize the pitch within the Phrygian scale. Let's do it again. Currently we are set to 16 steps. We can reduce that. Or if you want a bit of polyrhythm, if we go down here to loop, let's take it off global and put it on individual. And now each one of these rows, each one of these sections has a different loop length. So this is on 16, the pitch, whereas velocity now is only on eight or four. Let's go to Serum. Let's assign the velocity to the cutoff like so. And now the velocity is controlling the cutoff on the format. If we go down to the bottom, we can change these range settings. So if we turn them all the way up, that will change the modulation or the randomization depth. So now if we randomize, you'll see the range increase of the modulation depth, like so.
that we have the gate times in the middle we have that set to one let's make the last one on each quite short as well as the second <laughs> And then in the fourth lane, we have some performance options. At the top of that, in the first sub lane, if you like, we have the octave sequencer. If you look at the top in this little gray box, you'll see what each of these functions does. So at the top, you can see it's octave sequencer. We can make that go up or down too. Up to. Let's just reduce this down to four steps for now. Below that we have the pitch bend. Various different curves there for that. Following on we have the chord sequencer. So if we didn't want chords in, so let's go major seven. Then we can put some rolls in. And then below that we can further randomize it. So let's put a randomization on pitch for the first step and on the third let's put it on gate time. So obviously that's a bit of a cacophony but we can choose to randomize the entire thing like so and then we're going to expand this to the full 32 steps. I think there are too many notes playing in the randomization, so let's turn the randomization depth down, like so, down the bottom. And with a bit of messing around, we have this. But then once we have that, we can make, let's make the pitch go forward, velocity, let's do backward, and then the gate time, let's do that on random. Or each fourth. Let's put the performance on random also. Thank you. 
So as you can see, it's very, very easy to get quite distracted and spend quite a lot of time on this. So go check it out. It's currently on offer from Audio Plugin Deals, as I said at the start, and it will really liven up your sequencing game for sure. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.